23 Bowman Hobby, full case, PYT, 171. Richard's going to send over for the A's, and while he's doing that, Cat's going to begin the opening ceremony, if you will. Let's, um, let's see if there's another one of these in the store. There's not, and now there is. There's another Bowman Hobby. I just added it for, to the store. I don't know if Backer wants me to or not, but, well, he doesn't have a choice anymore. 172 is in the store. Let's send out the email. He went to Wisconsin? Of course, dude. JT went to Wisconsin. He was, remember? He was their star running back at Wisconsin. Oh, I thought he was saying, like, dirt, like right now he was, he was actually doing it. I thought that's what you were saying right now. But okay. Yeah, even still, it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Backer didn't understand. I, f I felt bad for you when we pulled it. Whiskey. Jim, these in between the 190s and the 168s. This space, yeah. Just put them in between them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to keep... Um, I'm trying to keep sealed ones that aren't just 35s or 55s, just like not here. Like, I just, right. I'm just trying to... Keep the room clean. But obviously, I'm not worried about you. I'm sure we did, Richard. I'm going to check right now. Let's take a look. Yeah, we got the Venmo, Richard. You're good. Um, you sent, I think, a dollar too much, but that's okay. Um, so, Richard, so here's what I need you to do, okay? First, welcome to Blez. Second of all, I'm going to give you a couple instructions. You only have to do... Oh, let me turn on the Erica cam here. I'm only going to... You only have to do this once, okay? So, I want you to send an email to our customer service department with your, your name, your username, and your shipping address. And he's going to give you a discount code. You only have to do this once. If you, yeah, obviously not everybody else, but just Richard. Richard, since you're new, send that email. Derek will see it. He's in charge of our customer service and our shipping, and he will take care of it for you. Um, with hobby, yeah, I was gonna say there's so many packs. I would, Start I would, yeah, yeah, I would, I would, I usually do like four. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, just because it's crazy. Yeah, I've done it all before, but I regret <laughs> it every time I do it. Every time I do it all, I regret it. Um, new guy Mojo in the house. The second thing I'm going to tell you is that in the future, just so you know, there are three ways that you can pay for a spot. Technically four ways. You can buy it in the store, which is always the best way if you have the time and the availability. If you're not in a rush, buying something in the store is always the best way. The second best thing... You got to do it on the screen. You can't see. <laughs> um, the second best thing is... Uh, is if you do Blaz Bucks, which is in the store. So here's the options in general. I'm just going to give you the whole layout. What is it? IG? Or Blaz IG? So those are the three ways that you can pay direct. So if you're, when you're in the room, I don't know how familiar you are to the process, but when you're in the room, just like you did when you asked for Oakland, the breaker will take it out for you, and then you can send direct any of those three methods. My recommendation is to always use Blezbucks as much as you can, because there's a 1% rake back on the Blezbucks, and it adds up over time. That's how Josh was able to just use a bunch of points to buy that team for 119, so... It adds up, so my advice is always go through the store and use Blezbucks, unless, you know, the room is flying and you just got to tell the breaker. <laughs> yeah, right, Gramps? Uh, and if, you, if the room is quick and whatever, then you can tell the breaker, hey, I want Oakland, and then we'll take it out for you, of course. But my advice is as much as possible to go through the store, because the store gets precedence. K 
Karam, see, you know what's funny? Karam, Karam shows up in the room. He thinks he's needling me. That's the, the Karam, you think you're needling me because you beat me in fantasy with DJ Moore this week? He, DJ Moore, he needed a certain number of points for DJ Moore. On that last drive, yeah. he beat me. Oh, okay. No, no, it's okay. Karam, you think you're needling me, but what you don't realize is that that drive and those catches by DJ Moore, they got the Bears the victory. And I still have two entries in Circa Survivor. <laughs> and we wanted the Vikings to lose tonight. So you know what? Congratulations on your fantasy victory. I'm very happy for you that DJ Moore got those points. Very happy for you. Very, very happy for you. Because <laughs> I am also happy for me. <laughs> I'm very happy that the Bears won that game. I, don't, I'm, I couldn't care any less about losing that game to you. I don't mind though. You did talk a big game. I'm I'm happy that you at least you know what are you, what are you now? You got is that your fourth win, Karen? <laughs> Congratulations. I think I'm still tied for first, but what do you know? Whatever, it's okay. I dropped to eight and four. Karen moves to four and eight. It's a good week for all of us, you know. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't help myself, Karen. It's too easy. I love you though. Yo, Karen. By the way, we're doing Bowman Hobby right now. You realize that, right? We're doing Bowman Hobby. Where is your name? How do you not have any spots in this break? What the hell just happened? There's 80 left. 80 left in, in Survivor. Gramps, you're in Cabo? Dude, have fun, bro. Enjoy the weather. Hell yeah, Gramps. Congrats, Gramps. That's amazing. Are you are you there by yourself? Are you with family? Are you with friends? No matter what, that's amazing, dude. Congrats. Have an amazing time in Cabo. I'm jealous. Oh, that's not good, Karam. We went from Gramps... Being in Cabo to what Karam just said, that's a that's a little bit of a shift. I'm sorry, dude. That's horrible. I, I actually have some pretty sad news to report too, if you wanna be if you if we wanna stay on the sad topic. That's dude, that's that's terrible, Karam. I'm sorry. I hope she's okay. I hope she's dealing with it okay. Um Family in Cabo. I've never been to Cabo. I almost went one year. I was very close to going on spring break to Cabo. Like back in the day when like you know, like, David Spade used to be on, like, MTV. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Like, back when he used to do these random things. Like what, going to Cabo? Yeah, like, just going to Cabo for, like, MTV spring break or whatever. I'm sorry, Karim, that's that's terrible. But hopefully you're able to cheer up because you're a good man, and I know that you're capable. I know that's one of your strong suits. You're good at that stuff. Oh, okay. So that's so that's all right. So that sounds like it's uh, the circle of life, I guess, is what if you what we could say, right? I actually, I was actually in tears uh, a couple mornings ago. I didn't tell you guys on the stream, but um, my wife's parents back in Honduras, they have a, they have two dogs. And this is like, I can't even believe I'm telling this story. It's like the horrible, most horrible story. I can't even handle it myself, but, um, my, uh, one of the dogs, my, 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 yeah, I don't even know what I, what I would say, but basically like one of the dogs was so excited when my wife's mom was coming home that he like ran in front of the car Ugh. and, and my, my wife's father Accidentally ran over oh the God. yeah like it's like the oh dog the dog passed away that happens it, too often man. it's like, like no but like I, so I I really like, can't handle stuff like that no, like I really like, that's so terrible it's like super traumatizing and my I can't even think about it but Jeez. my my wife's been in like tears for like two days oh my God. I feel terrible for her and like and like I feel you know what I was telling her because she was like very upset and then like her mom is like really upset with her dad. And I was just, I, you know what I said? I told her, I said, you know, like, I promise nobody feels worse about this than, than he does. Dad. No, uh, nobody course. feels worse than, than her, her father. He didn't mean to do that. The dog was nine, so so he he lived a pretty solid life. Solid life. Nine years old is not nothing for a dog. It's, it's, a, re, it's a reasonable. 63 years old. That's what I'm saying. It's not like, yeah. you know, he, he would have last, he would have lived a little longer, but. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, we'll stop with the sad stories. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to bring a somber tone to the room. And I, I can't stand talking about that stuff. I don't ever like talking about animals being hurt We're at all. We're never usually like that, so... No, I've never told any story yeah, like yeah, that on this yeah, channel. Exactly. I just, you know... It just... Because of what Karen mentioned, yeah. that it happened literally the other day, so I feel terrible, but... I, if, if I'll tell you right now, like... If it was like, I mean, I don't have a dog right now, but if I had a dog and that happened to me, you guys wouldn't see me for a no, month. No, no, wouldn't. Happen. You wouldn't see me for a month. I'm not. I would. I would tell Jared I'm taking off yeah. for a month. If that happened to my boy Rocco. I wouldn't be. Would be terrible. I'd be in Florida right now with my. What is it with the the Jeez. fantasy commissioners? That's so whack. What the hell, Henny? Yo, Henny, I saw your I saw your Instagram post. I didn't know who that guy was. But I saw your post. I'm so sorry. That's t that's horrible too, man. What a s rough week for a few people. That sucks. We're here to bring positive spirits and positive vibes. So I apologize for bringing up anything even remotely sad at all. Um, yeah, what happens? But but uh, yeah. Life goes on, and we'll all, we'll try we'll try to stay positive. I'm sure, Henny. That's what that those guys are. They're great people sometimes. S special coaches are special coaches. Life coach at that. You know, I opened up a case of flashbacks recently that didn't have the cardboard on the bottom. Ooh, wow, no pizza paddle? No pizza paddle, exactly. Wow, that would yes. make me freak out. I Bro, like, it, I did freak out. I like, went Ooh. to grab it and there was nothing there. I was like, Ooh. what the hell is going on? That's... Changing the topic, the next museum, PYT14, is very close. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to be much, 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 much better. Than the first half. Exactly, Josh. This is Bowman Hobby 171, a full case. This is going to be hot. The last case of Bowman Hobby I did was surprisingly good. Like, I thought it was going to be bad. It started off cold, and then it finished very strong. When? Um, yesterday, oh, I think. Oh, yesterday? Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. I did a case of Bowman Hobby the other day. Yeah, yesterday. It started off cold, and then it got really hot towards the end. Really hot. Let's just try to start hot and finish hot mm -hmm. here. Once you're hot, you're hot. Exactly. Stay there the whole time. Delight is on the screen too. See if we can't get that going tonight. They're really good, honestly, Karen. Oh, it was a jumbo case that I did. Oh, I did okay. both. I did a hobby and a jumbo. But the case that I was I thinking about... My, I, yeah, the case I was thinking about, I think, was a jumbo. Because Backer was here with me for it. Actually... No, so you know what happened, Karen? We saw a jumbo case the other day where we saw a couple names that I affiliated with Bad Collation... And I turned to backer and I t I put the volume I hit the mute on the mic and I turned to backer and I told him that the case was gonna be bad. We hit we hit a we hit a Julian Auto Karim. Yes, it was. I turned to backer and I said this case is gonna suck. And he said, How do you know? And I said, Because any Bowman jumbo case with Julian is always bad. The rest of the case is bad. And then the case ended up being really good. Good. The case ended up being really good. So what am I missing, Karim? I thought that I thought that Julian cases were bad in Jumbo. The rest of the case ended up being really good. Like, really good. Did we just get lucky? Or I know you usually say there's there's different correlation between the between the uh, refractors or the uh, numbered autos and the non-numbered autos. I'm not talking about Julian. I'm talking about. I'm just saying, whenever we hit a Julian auto out of Jumbo, I I usually thought that that meant that it was bad collation. That the case was going to be bad, but the case was good. What am I missing? 
Nobody knows the collation better than you. Yes, out of Jumbo. That's what I'm saying. Yes, bro. There were two. Julian Jumbo's okay. Is, is it bad in hobby? Is that what it is? Oh, okay. That's where I had it backwards. Okay, so with all due respect to Charles Anderson, I guess we don't want to see Julian right away. Because the case was good. I saw Julian Inc. and I was like, oh shit. I got, I got upset. <laughs> no, seriously. The case was really good. We didn't see any Josh Hood. We saw two Lazaro autos. There were two Lazaro autos in there. Or was that the last hobby case? I can't remember. I think they did. I think they do think that Vaughn Brown is a good chase. I think you're right about that. 100%. I just put a new hobby in the store, by the way, PYT172, if you feel like attacking it for the future. I just added it not, not long ago, just a few minutes ago. At least he has a cool signature, Karen. There were other people that thought Von Brown was good too, though. Why do you? Why do we say Von Brown is bad? One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are we missing here? Was like, How is there an odd number of piles? It's like, what did I do wrong? You're good. You can take a moment. Yeah, Delight is wildly underpriced, guys. If Karim says he bought spots in Delight, you know it's underpriced. No, I'm just teasing. PYT63, a product of the year. Breakers Delight is in the store, and it's on the screen. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no pay, Jose. Can you feel the heat? <laughs> Maggio. Anybody that doesn't pay is cheeky, honey. <laughs> non payers are always cheeky. Cheeky? Isn't that like a British word? Where did you pull out the cheeky out of? Where did that come from? Okay, I'll start it off for us here. Let's uh, turn off those lights above our heads, though. Those lights are way too bright. Way too bright, and we don't need them. We don't need them. Pretty sure y'all can see everything right here. Let's uh, do some hobby while Cat just chills for a minute, and then we'll get back to it. Good luck, everybody. It's PYT 171 of the hobby. Good luck, spoken in the Liam Nielsen voice. Kiwi of Henry Davis. Again, welcome, Richard. Welcome to Blez, the ble best place to be. I was going to say the blessed, the blessed place to be. I can't speak right now. 
<laughs> uh, purple ink of Rojas. Rojas for SG continuing his heater. SG was hot last night. Kiwi of Khalil Watson for the fish. How you like me now? How you like me now? You know what I haven't hit in like a million years? Is the uh, the black lunar crater paper to 15. Right? It's to 15. I haven't hit one of those forever. Atomic of the Martian for the Yankees. I gotta get the, uh, after this box, I gotta get the paper box. Forgot to get it set up. Arroyo on the base. Ben Scone. Charles in charge. And Axel Foley. All right, let me just get this paper box so I have somewhere to put all the paper. I got that song, Odeo, stuck in my head by Drake. Since you guys said Drake in the chat, now I got that song, Odeo, in my head. I can't get, can't shake it. I can't stop. We're going to have to sing different songs just to get rid of it. All right. Box number two. Fight. Come on, you're done. We're in your place. <laughs> the Atomic Cabrera of Jet Williams for the Mets. Meet the Mets. Greet the Mets. It's 150 on the blue Ray Wave. Who's got the Mets? Charles. But Charles doesn't have the Royals, so if I hit Charles in charge, I can't say a Charles in charge for Charles. That's problematic here. Perozo on the paper. More paper. It's Alec Burleson, 100, and Jackie Robinson to 150 on the paper there. Josh Young, rookie piece. Jose, I told you, come to Vegas. I'll take you to dinner. We'll chill. Termar. On the Kiwi. I'm going to, uh... <laughs> or, or you could fight Karim. If you fought Karim, you would also get to meet Brown. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Brown's got jokes today. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy for Karim to beat me in fantasy this this week. It's a big achievement. Tip your cap. It is a tip. My well, Karim's like a fantasy guru. Is he? Yeah, but he but he's just he he. He's this year. He's like one of those wacky wailing, wack wacky wailing, wha wailing wacky wild inflatable tube guys. Wow. Yeah, you ever you ever see that episode? No. <laughs> wacky wild wailing inflatable tube guys. I can't even say it. Wacky, wild, wailing, inflatable tube guys. Wacky, wild, wailing, inflatable tube guys. Joe Stewart. 
Joe Stewart on the base. He looks like a pitcher, but he's not. Gavin Cross, Kiwi. Karim, are you... Uh, should I play the win? I'm probably not going to. Should I play the win? That, like, one zillion dollar whatever? I don't think I'm going to, but... There's this huge win tournament coming up. But it's Hold'em. No, I know. You, you've had so many points scored against you, it's insane, Karen. That one, that league, the league that uh, that you beat me in this week, I mean, listen, your team wasn't exactly great shakes this week. You, you barely beat me, but um, neither of our teams did all that much this week. But, ooh. Axel Sanchez for the Mariners and the Speckle and Zavala on the Kiwi Purple Paper. Peace of Tristan for the Red Sox. Um... Your schedule, your schedule is really good, or really bad. I mean, this year, you just so many points scored against you. No, this is hobby. In hobby, sometimes they're face forwards. In jumbo, they're usually backwards. But you know, oh, oh, you see? Do you see what I see? Mm -hmm. We have a redemption. Well, let's, let's use um. All right, we'll use the Martian. We'll use the Martian to sweat it. Let's sweat. Let's sweat our our redemption. Do you see what I see? Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna play it. Oh, look at that! It's a green grass to 99 on the refractor. Redemption. No, I'm not. I wouldn't let you fight, Karim. No, pay Jose. <laughs> it's not happening. This is this is an interesting sweat. Good luck. Spencer Jones. Spencer Jones for Zilla and the Yankees on the grass fractor. Let's go, Zilla. Wow. Tough hit right there. Spencer Jones to 99. Very nice card. Nice card for Zilla and the Yankees. Wow. Spencer Jones. We love Spencer Jones. We love Spencer Jones Redemptions. Is it Jumbo only, Karen, or is it Hobby too? When we see the when we see a redemption. Delauder on the Kiwi. Yeah, you you caught me, Henny. We're, <laughs> we're hiding. We're not one, three, three pearl packs. Yeah, <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> oh. Blue paper of Abdias de la Cruz. I did see an orange when I when I was opening. Wow, really, really, Karim. Hobby more than Jumbo. Oh wow, we have a good case here. If Karim says it, it must be true. Wow. All right, let's let's hold on. Hold. Keep your arms and legs inside the roller coaster ride at all times. There's Jordani de los Santos. <laughs> Jose, maybe it should be me and you. Maybe you, me and you tussle. No pay, Jose. Maybe we tussle on Plez Pop. Cat's catching strays out here. What the hell, man? Come on now. Yeah, he's, he's top loading and he's catching strays. Yeah, what? It's messed up. Come on, Jose. Let's get it going. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's do it. <laughs> Say less, he says. Damn, you like to fight, huh, no pay? Care, uh, Corbin Carroll on the base. You're a fighter, not a lover? Is that what you are? No pay? Rafaela on the Kiwi. De La Cruz on the insert. Magenta paper <laughs> of Samuel Munoz for the Dodgers. And an auto for the Mets. It's JT. Sexy's back for Charles Anderson. Junior Tillian, not Mr. Timberlake. 
Andy Peguero for the fish. For the Wandering Tree, 250 on the purple Ray Wave. And then we have a Drew Jones Lunar Glow Refractor. Let's wipe the chrome dust off and put them in this forever home. I call these Kiwis, but technically they're called Lunar Glow Refractors. Technically. Technician. Uh, gotta say technicalities, right? Damn, this paper is like sharp today, bro. Dude, Bowman will mess Bowman. you up. Bowman I think will mess you up. This thing is cutting me up. What was that movie where the random kid leans in and he's like, I cut you, fool? <laughs> There's like, it's like a little kid. I watched role models for the first time. Of the Did day. you? That little kid, Ronnie, man. He's oh got a my mouth god, on him, bro. dude! He's, he's got a mouth. Such on a little him. mouth on him. He's so funny. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's a funny movie. <laughs> uh, we got Chrome. Hector being dropped. Unbreak my heart. Tell me love me Zach Gallup. An atomic Zach Gallup. Unnumbered on the short print. Kyle Harrison and the Bergola Goat. Mr. Salami next is going to be probably Museum. Museum six box PYT 14 looks like it's going to be next. It's very close. I, I bet your podcast, I would listen. I never listened to a single podcast in your in my life. I would listen to your podcast, No Pay Jose, at least for a couple episodes. The Water Filter, Juan Brito on the Blue Lunar Crater Paper. No go on the base. Garrett Mitchell for the Brew Crew to 125 on his rookie. Kiwi of Franmi de Leon for the Red Sox. It was the movie Waiting. It's Andy Milanakis in the movie Waiting. So I'll cut you. <laughs> really? Andy yes. Milanakis? It's Andy Milanakis. In the movie Waiting. I got peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. Andy Milanakis show? Yes. Yes, it's Junior. First duo, it's Mr. Caminero. We like Junior Caminero. I'm not sure what happened to Andy him. Andy vlogs on the daily. Damn, you follow him, huh? Uh, I do, and he is... You must love Andy Mr. It's, uh, Milanakis. It's pretty brutal to watch him. I mean, it's raunchy. It's, it's not not raunchy. It's he's like is he he's old, like is a like, sicko. Like he's yeah. just like a yeah, you know Andy yeah, Milanakis. Yeah. Imagine him on a daily. He's just dude. Like, he used Oof. to have like a show. I want to say on MTV where he would like walk around with like fake like balls like hanging out of his shorts. <laughs> just, Andy Milanakis yeah, show. Like, is it's like dude, ridiculous. Kenny Gomez and the Kiwi. I just I don't know, man. It's and it, so it, sorry if I'm inappropriate here, but it's just not what I want to be. I don't really. Andy Milanakis was not really my type of humor. See, now I got caught. Now I'm getting caught here because I actually don't watch his vlogs. Oh, <laughs> there you go. It's, he's not my type of humor. <laughs> oh my god! You know what I feel like I just did to oh you? Oh my god! How funny was it? Remember that one time? Remember there was one time when I asked Cat if he had ever pressed all the buttons on the elevator, <laughs> <laughs> and Cat was like, "Yeah, like you know, I have you know like a couple times, maybe once or whatever." You said, "You're like once I did. I press all the buttons in the elevator, and then I ran out, and then yeah. you ran out, and I was like, man, that's messed up.'" And you're like, "You did that?" I was like, "No," <laughs> and you're like, "Why are you asking me?" Like Garnasio the refractor, you I, I like accidentally set you up. <laughs> like I didn't ask you that because like you know because <laughs> it was like yeah, but it's the same thing. So it's like oh oh, you listen to Andy Milanakis's podcast? You're like yeah, every day. And I'm like oh, I, I, no, I, I don't yeah. like his sense of humor. <laughs> it's like I, I just did the same thing to you twice. <laughs> Yo, the Tom Green show. He was actually really funny. What happened to him? Is he still alive? Or did he? Is I mean I feel like Yafri Solano on the. Atomic, Vientos rookie piece on the paper. Wasn't Mark Green, like, married to some absolute, like, smoke show famous celebrity or dating a famous celebrity at one point? I feel like, at one point, I feel like Tom Green was, like, on top of the world. He was, like, a white Dave Chappelle before Dave Chappelle existed. He did, yo. 
she brought man. He, he traded. He dated <clears throat> Drew Barrymore in her, oh, wow. in her prime. That's true. What happened, Maggio? Was it? Did he? Was he playing squash one day and things didn't? The, the ball went bounce. Took a bad bounce or something. <laughs> or, or, or did you? Did he bump into somebody in the hallway that had like a pencil in his pocket? Like what, what happened, Maggio? They were married. No way. Drew Barrymore. See, like I, I'll rent. Is it Blaze After Dark? Oh, wow. Look at the time. 10 Wow. 10 o'clock is... Bink. Oh, that sucks, Maggio. Now I feel bad for my joke. Um, now I feel bad for my joke. I'm sorry, Tom. I didn't know you had cancer. Not quite as bad as my accidental Rod Carew insult, but <laughs> Chase Slaughter on the purple purple Lunar Crater paper. Colton Kowser on the Atomic. Like, dude, I'll say this, okay? Gunner on the base. Drew Barrymore... Tom Green dated Drew Barrymore when she was like on hot stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, she was like a hot shit, you know. But but here's the thing, Drew Barrymore. I personally don't find her attractive at all. Like I, honestly, like I know that a lot of guys think she's attractive. She does not do it for me. I do not think that Drew Barrymore is attractive. But I will say this: that woman has some sass. <laughs> and 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 just because she's not my type physically, I feel like she would be so much fun. She was on David Letterman, very famous moment. You probably don't know this. I don't know if you're, you probably, I bet your brother might not even know this. She was on David Letterman one time. She flashed David Letterman on national television <laughs> live. Really? Yeah. Mash Rivers to 199. On accident, right? No. Really? I thought it was like a, he Definitely did it. Definitely not on accident. It was I've seen one, it on YouTube. It was but, uh... totally intentionally. Mervis again. Nah, Cameron Diaz Cameron is, is kind of hot. Cameron Diaz is She's kind of hot. She's kind of hot. She's kind of hot, Karen. But Karim's, Karim's like, like he, like, Karim's like into like supermodels. Like Karim, like Karim sends me videos of girls doing, like walking the catwalk, like, like all day. Like that's <laughs> what Karim loves. He loves the supermodels. Blaine Krim, I can't blame Krim. I feel like this is this guy's in Hunger Games. Blaine Prim? Prim? Krim? Blame? I'm not blaming Prim. What did she do? Hunger Games on the way. Exactly. Bishop, BB, Blaze Bucks on the Kiwi. He does. He does, Henny. Yeah, I, I think I think that Cameron Diaz is, is sexy. By the way, you know that she's, she like, you know what she does for hobby? What her favorite thing to do is? She loves racing cars. Really? Yes. She's like a, she That's will, hot. like, she will, like, honestly, she will torch anybody in a race. Damn. Yes, like she's like a, she goes on tracks and like races supercars on the that's regular. Sick. She loves that's what she loves. She's like Jay Leno. She's got female Jay Leno. Um, she loves racing cars. I think that gives her added sex appeal too. Definitely. But dude, if you saw, if you saw, <laughs> he's defending himself right now. Don't worry, Karen. They're all hot. Um, <laughs> if you saw Drew Barrymore flash David Letterman. Like, that was, like, it was, like, a big deal, like, when that happened. You guys remember that, right? No way. Really, Karen? God. <laughs> You're a lucky man. Got to gotta redo the house. Make sure they got windows facing the other direction. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, ooh, Clifford, he's a big red dog, but this card is blue, and it's wavy. Ray wavy, to be exact. 150. For the Mets going to char or no, sorry, to Houston, excuse me. He's on the Mets now, but that goes to Houston. He's gonna be good for the Mets. I'm excited. I'm so excited for all these young hitters in the Mets, man. I need the outfielders. Call me like delusional. Spencer Jones on the atomic. Call me delusional, but I really think the Mets are gonna be really good next year. Like if they let's see if they sign Yama, uh, they, let's see if they sign, you know. Yoshinobu? Yeah. Or no, is it Yamamoto or what's his yeah. name? Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, listen, I've heard it's... Yeah, 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 it's all right. Honestly, save your response. You <laughs> that's not even I, don't good. Need, I don't need to hear your response. You're a Yankees fan, right? That's, that's all. Yeah, that's the Rockies all that, at heart. That's, so. all that, that's all that needs to be said. And the kid likes, he's a Yankees fan. He's on the bandwagon, you know? <laughs> What's your favorite football team, the Cowboys? <laughs> this is where you're like, actually. <laughs> well, Hector on the Kiwi. I shouldn't tell you my favorite Steelers stuff. Steelers? Yeah, I'm a Steelers fan. We've I can been over this. I can, yeah, I can accept Steelers. That's fine. Really? Okay. Yeah, cool. what's wrong with the Steelers? I don't know. At least they're not like, you know, they're not like America's sweetheart. Oh, no. I, I Yeah, no, I hate the Cowboys. Cowboys suck. 
Ooh, what? That's orange? We got orange shimmy. Orange shimmy. Here, let's put down the orange shimmy. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Guess the orange shimmy quickly. Quickly. For 69 in credit. Guess the orange shimmy, shimmer quickly. Ready, go. Guess the orange shimmy for 69 in break credit. Everybody gets one guess. If you don't guess, you must hate money. Because it's free to guess. Guess the orange shimmy. I'll do one more box, so we'll come back to that orange shimmy. Guess the orange shimmy for 69 in cred. Churio. Big bro Churio to 199 for the brew crew. Guess the orange shimmy auto. There's Beatty for the Mets. Speak of the devil on the rookie piece. Paper. I think Beatty's going to have a much better year next year, too. I, so too. I, I have high hopes Got for Beatty. A little bit of developing to mm -hmm. go through as well. Maybe Jace good. Young on the Atomic. You know, I really think Beatty's going to have a good year. Alvy is definitely our catcher for the future. <coughs> you know. Guess the orange shimmy for 69 in break credit. Kiwi of Luis Garcia for the Blue Jeezies. All right, we're almost done with this box. Then we're going to come back to that orange shimmy. We're going to see what we got. I see a yellow up ahead. Let's see what that is. Is that autographed yellow? Is that autographed yellow? It is. And it's really good. <laughs> really good. We were saving the orange shimmy. Just so we could skip over and hit a yellow hip hip ho sway to Paula for Cousin Benny. Let's go. Hip hip ho sway. 54 to 75 on some yellow. Crispy clean, by the way. Ho sway to Paula Inc. Let's go. Let's go. I say, Vinny. Sick. Yeah, I feel like if you guys just haven't guessed yet, like, you should be guessing good names. Because this case is obviously a, a winner. You know? Oh, that's the orange shimmy. Let's finish out that box, and we'll come back to that orange shimmy. Guess the orange shimmy. First 69 and break credit. The first person to guess it, if multiple people guess, will be the recipient of the prize if it's correct. And it's time. Let's do... The orange shimmy. I'll guess, uh, I'm gonna guess, who should I guess? I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna, I'll guess Gladiator. Anybody guess Roman Anthony? I'll guess the Gladiator. What's up, Berta? How are you, man? I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess, uh, who did I just guess? Uh. Somebody good. I just guessed somebody good. Now I can't even remember who I just guessed. Wow. I haven't, by the way, I have not smoked any weed today. <laughs> no, I'm serious. This is, just for all of you out there, this is hands down the longest I've gone in, like, years without smoking weed. I'm serious. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm not even kidding. Oh, I guess Roman Anthony's. Thank you, Sappy. See, Sappy, we got two people in the chat that I played in fantasy football this week. Karim, who beat me by two points. Actually, three. Karim beat me by two points. I beat Minty by, like, two points, I think. And then I beat Sappy by like 100. Ah, got him. <laughs> All right, good luck. Let's get a sweat. Can we get a sweat? Is it a first? It is a first, and I see a bat. Let's see a position sweat. It's an outfielder. Oh, it's Jay Savina. That's solid. Not bad. Nice. For the brew crew. Got that Jackson Churio earlier without ink, of course. But this is Jay Savina. 15 to 25 on an orange shimmy auto for Kurto. Let's go. Where is Jay Savina on your rankings, Karim? Really? I didn't know he was a Yankee. You knew that? Mm -mm, I know. That. I didn't know he was a Yankee. How'd they, get, how'd they acquire him? For dust? Sounds like a good deal for the Yankees. Jesus. Drew Jones base. 
Why'd they give up on him? How old is he? He's got to be young. He's probably like 18, 19. Born 03 from Reno, Nevada. He's 20. Wow, he's a local. Local. Perozo in the Atomic for the Mets. Lava Refractor of Encarnacion for the Red Sox. You got three and a half more boxes. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Can't stop me. I'm the gingerbread man. Yellow Paper of Christian Hernandez to 75 for the Cubbies. There's the gladiator on the base. Do you realize that, like, you know what they always say? They say you have to be in the same element. Like, when you're, like, like, like for example, if I were to, like, go take a test right now, and I studied for the test when I was stoned, then I, I then they say you should go take the test stoned. Stoned, yeah, right? I got you. You have to be in the same, like, mental state. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know how true that is, or okay. if it's just an excuse uh -huh. written by drug right, addicts right. so that they can an excuse course. to do drugs totally. while they totally. take tests. But, of course. Um, I literally, this is the longest it's been since I've smoked in so long. On purpose, or are you just busy, uh, How did you know, I just didn't know. The car, Jared's car broke down mm -hmm. in my face. I had to have Cindy drop me off today, and mm -hmm. I, I got home late last night, and I just didn't really have time. I mean, pro? I don't know about pro, but... I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not, Tracy, but they're pretty sharp, these guys. Speckle Inc. of the Feds. The Feds are coming for you from Minnesota. Charles with the Kyler Fedco. Speckle Inc. I'm jealous, J Josh. I actually have a few uh, edibles. Randy De Jesus and the Kiwi. I have a few uh, edibles in the cabinet up there, but that doesn't. they don't do it for me. Like I'm like immune. My, my tolerance is just too high. Because the, they only max you out of the... Milligrams, and it's... I mean... It's, they don't do it. Bro, I'll eat the whole damn thing. Igno I know. Honestly, I'll, I'll eat the whole... hundred, and it's... Yeah, but then it. I get sick because I ate just a whole thing of gummies, and my <laughs> stomach doesn't, you know? <laughs> that's too. It has nothing too. to do with the, the THC. Yeah. My stomach just no, gets upset because I just ate a whole yeah, box of gummies. Yeah. I might as well just go eat some freaking gummy bears. The guy's like, uh... He's like, you like, uh... You like cooking chicken? I'm like, yeah. He's like, take this. He's like, it's a... It's a thing to make chicken and bread chicken and... It's like 10 milligrams. I'm like, why would I want That's this? That's weird, yeah. Why would I want this? You boys like Mexico? Woohoo! Serta Atomic for the D backs. <laughs> Stock market scout, perhaps. Self proclaimed. <laughs> No pay, Jose. How can how can you be a pro scout if you don't even pay? <laughs> you got to be a payer to be a pro scout. Wait, hold on. Are you, were you the scout? Did you find Steve Nebraska? Is that you, Jose? <laughs> it's crazy to think about Brendan Fraser in the whale and in the scout. I can't even, it's, it's like just two worlds apart. Jose says, yes. Elijah to 125. <laughs> I did. No wonder. That's I knew you were famous. I knew you were a famous scout. <laughs> Arroyo. On the Kiwi. You, you have to you should watch that. Honestly. What is it? Scout? It's called the Scout. So so honestly, out of the list of baseball movies that I told you to watch, the Scout is not the best. Okay? It is probably like in the top ten, but it's not even close to the top five. It doesn't hold a candle to like major league or the natural, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Okay. Or Bull Durham, or even a league of their own, or anything like that. But you should watch it because it's really funny. The Scout? Yeah. It's a comedy? Yeah, it's comedy, okay. bro. Yeah. It's like a comedy, but there it's baseball in there, you know? It's pretty awesome. The water filter for the Rockies to 150. 007, Agent 007, the James Bond number out of 150. And base auto. There he is. Wow. You're one box, one box late, Mr. Anthony. The Gladiator for JB. Dave told me that this guy 
Leapfrog number one uh, in the rankings for the Red Sox minor leagues, right? Really? Think, yeah, I think nice. he's ahead of Mayer now. Nice. Hell yeah, we love the Gladiator. Paper of almost, it's almost a good card. Kiwi of Jacob Berry. I hit his super auto on this channel at one point, and then Hawk hit the regular super. You know that? We hit both yeah. of his supers. Yeah. It's crazy. I love that. I think that's like one of the coolest Jacob things. Jacob Berry channel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then we had a fake Jacob Berry join the chat. Brooks Lee to 125. You, were you there for that? No. Yeah. That's so Somebody great. named Jacob Berry came in the chat, and they're like, is that for sale? And we honestly, to this day, don't even know if it's the real Jacob Berry. <laughs> that's so it weird. <laughs> Is great. He is the guy. The gladiator. Now, you guys have chased the gladiator correctly. He's a stud. Invicta of Drew Jones. Samil de la Rosa? No. Arroyo on the Atomic. Let's find Samil for Dram. Riley Green. Dram's model predicts... Samil de la Froza, so. <laughs> I was just about to say, I bet we have another orange. I swear I was about, just about to say that. That's so weird, bro. It's a Jacob Berry channel. It's so weird. We're just talking about him. We just, we just manifested him. We created him out of thin air. 9 to 25 on the orange Jacob Berry. An orange berry. Interesting. Orange berries. Orange berries. Orange berries. Wow. Jacob Berry is not dust, Karim. Stop it. You're, maybe your, your standards are too high. Or was Samil de la Rosa the dust? <laughs> Jace Young on the paper piece. Davison, nice, on the Kiwi. Lime green paper of Brandon Crawford to three ninety nine for the Giants. Clifford, he's a big red dog. Blue ink? True blue ink? Oh, that is nasty. That's it. How you Lee on the true blue for the Phillies. Wax with a beautiful hit. I love the Kanji Auto. I mean, love everybody the loves the Kanji Auto. It's, yeah. I, find one person that says they don't like the Kanji Auto. You won't. You literally can't. It's, it's so cool. It's so cool. He won't sign like this forever, guys. I was reading about him. He's like a multi-tool player. Like he's really? yeah, he he kind of does. He's like quick. He's like and he's a good fielder. Click like a fox. Click like a fox, exactly. And Garnacion on the Kiwi. Yeah, this is an excellent case. Really good names. And that Spencer, bro. I can't believe we hit that Spencer Jones. It's a huge card. Bergola on the Kiwi. Ellie on the base. And a purple paper piece of Jace Bowen. Six out of 250. Why has it got to be tiny, Henny? That's what she said. Oh, Dram. I got. I should just give Dram credit, honestly. Dram, bam. I should just give Dram credit for just guessing it, even though I didn't ask for a guess. <laughs> Samuel de la Rosa, <laughs> refractor auto, out of the last box. Dram is a genius. Karim, Dr actually, Dram, could you send Karim your model, please? <laughs> Karim needs your model <laughs> to dive into some more work. <laughs> Jorge Ruiz, 17 out of 125. And then Coronavirus on the Kiwi. Kennedy Corona. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. 
Little baby. <laughs> little baby. We don't no more Ginter. <laughs> no more Ginter to open little baby. <laughs> little baby. We uh we are in the final box. I maybe you know I might be able to give you a small a cheap free team dram. Honestly. I'll give you a cheap free team. Because that was one hell of a prediction. I didn't ask for a guess, but that was one hell of a prediction. That really was. We only had one auto left. The dude went one for one. Well, he said there was going to be a Samil de la Rosa in this case. We only had, like, at the time, like, maybe two autos left. Maybe Samil de la Rosa is going to be, like, the next Michael Trout of the Cardinals. Who knows? Atomic of B. Jordan. And I ain't talking about Sarah. I'm talking about Blaze. He's a collector. Yeah. Like, big is. time. Like, I, was, I, I, like, followed his Twitter and stuff now. Like, he is a legit... He posts uh, yeah, bro. his hits, yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Does he have a channel? I think he has a YouTube channel. I think I've seen clips of it. He, like, breaks, right? I think he breaks. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Almost positive. Go off on the base to close it out for our newcomer, Richard. Sorry we couldn't find any Gallop Inc. for you, but it is admittedly a tough hit since he's only got numbered ink and no basing. We're going to do a recap for y'all right now. Dram, you're allowed to. <laughs> why? Why don't you don't want to accept free gifts, Dram? All right, fine. You don't want to accept it. I'm. Oh, sorry, Vinny. I, I got I got confused. You're right. This is the product where Gallup has the numbered. Uh, doesn't have the autos. I'm sorry. I totally got confused. Thank you, Vinny. Hundred percent right. I forgot. No, you're right. You are right. I thought he had. Where are his base autos? He has base autos out of somewhere. Was it last year's Bowman Chrome, maybe? Where are his base autos, Vinny? I forget. Where is Gallup's base autos? I know he only has colored autos in Chrome. No, but where are his base autos in last year's Chrome, or are they just non-existent? The base first autos are in this, Henny? So I'm not that crazy, right? He has base first autos in this? Okay. So, confirmed, Brown's not crazy. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I know his base autos are somewhere. Well, not confirmed. Are his base autos in this? Doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, Brown might be crazy again. <laughs> Henny, you might be joining joining the loony, loony bin with me. That was the paper, the refractors, some numbered chrome, Mash Mervis there. No, okay, they're all telling me I'm crazy. Clifford, the water filter, G Mart, Jacob Berry on the orange, Spencer Jones to 99 on a grass fracture. That'll beat the sort. Gladiator for the Red Sox, Junior Caminero for the Rays. Man, this was a good case. JT, Stewart, Samil de la Rosa, and Blaine Krim on the refractors. The Feds, Rojas, Purple. How you, Lee? How you doing? To 150 on the True Blue. Josue de Paula. Yellow ink, crispy, and Jace Avina. 15 to 25 on the orange shimmy. That was a full case of Bowman Hobby. PYT 171. Thank you all for joining. That was the break.